What's up guys, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing part 5 of our Halo 4 lasso run. This is the level Reclaimer. We're going to start off by running forward. We're going to turn to the left instead of getting into the Mammoth because this actually just speeds things up. This isn't totally necessary, but it'll make this mission progress a little bit faster. So run up until the point where Del Rio comes over your comms. You can see the image of him pop up on your screen here. And then at that point you could cut back to the Mammoth. It skips some dialogue that you have on the Mammoth itself. So now we could just go straight back to the Mammoth. Uh, wait for it to slow down. Sometimes it picks up some speed, uh, and you might lose some shield if you jump onto it while it's going super fast. But just wait for it to slow down to a slow speed, and then you could jump in here in the doorway. And then we're going to immediately grab a rocket launcher from the crate of weapons on the bottom here. And then we're going to go up and grab the jetpack from the top. I like to trade my assault rifle for the rockets, so I have a battle rifle and rockets, but it really doesn't matter because we're not going to be killing any enemies in this mission at all. But make sure you grab those rockets because we're going to use those to destroy the Lich. If you count that as uh, killing an enemy, then I guess we kill one. We're going to grab the jetpack from where I just did there in the back of the Mammoth on top, and then we're going to go towards the front of the Mammoth on the right side, and we're just going to hang here. So I'm going to speed this part up. Once you see these neutralize objectives on your left over here, at that point you want to jump off the Mammoth towards the right side and then just hug the right side as you sprint forward. This will skip the encounter and allow us to sneak into the next part of the mission a little early and undetected for the most part. As you may be aware, you could just stay inside of the Mammoth totally safe and the Mammoth just slowly rolls by this encounter. But the reason we got out and are running along the right side here is to A, speed this part up a little bit, but also, more importantly, so we could approach this uh, next encounter that I was talking about from a different angle, much more safe and reliable here. You can see I actually grabbed a couple plasma grenades that were sitting on a rock a few seconds ago. Totally unnecessary, I'm not going to use any grenades, but might as well pick them up while you're here. But we're going to go up towards this uh, rock over here on the right. We want to get on top of this, so we're going to jetpack up. And the way you want to use the jetpack to get more out of it is to jump and then hold down the jetpack button. That will get you more of a boost right in the beginning, so you get a lot higher. So make sure you're doing that. You can actually get to the top of this rock with one thrust, but you can see I'm kind of taking a breather every so often. Just showing you an alternate, easier way if you're not great at jetpacking. But just follow this path, fall down here, and then towards the end you want a jetpack to break your fall so you don't take any unnecessary fall damage. Sprint along the water here, and then we're going to jetpack over this pelican. Continue sprinting to the nav point here. We're going to pick up a target designator, and then we're going to cut down to the right towards the river. Don't go all the way down towards the water because there is a kill zone down here. Then we're going to jetpack over to this rock over here where we're more safe from that phantom. Switch to your target designator again and aim for that anti-air turret in the sky, and then we're going to jetpack up to this ghost. You don't want to get higher than you need to be, so you avoid uh, being detected for as long as possible and then just boost all the way over here head into the bottom of the mammoth and then park your ghost like so so you're not right in the doorway because enemies could still see you and shoot through the doorway on the bottom of the mammoth here on the side so we're going to go up the stairs now and due to the mythic skull being on since this is lasso we actually have to target this anti-air turret a second time so head back up to this position on the mammoth where you're safe from being sniped from the other side and we're going to actually target this again. You can see when I just tried to target it again, I wasn't fully recharged. You have to wait for the locator to recharge, and then uh, we'll be able to target it once more. There's no way to really tell how much longer it's going to take to charge up, so just try every few seconds, and you'll know when it works because obviously the mammoth will shoot at it and it will blow up, and you can move on to the next part of the mission. You also want to be aware of the button to take out the locator because it's a special button. It's not just switch weapon, so it's a little weird. For me, it's up on the D-pad, and obviously if you're playing on PC, it's going to be something different, and if you're on a controller even, you probably have a different uh, control setup, but just figure out what that button is to switch to the target designator. Similar to all the other weapons, if you hold back or tab, depending on what you're playing, PC or Xbox, you could actually see what weapon you have in your hand that shows you what you have, so use that to your advantage. But after you take out that anti-air turret, you want to go back down to the bottom of the mammoth, get in the ghost, the mammoth will close the ramp, move forward a little bit, and then open up the ramp again, but you want to continue to stay in the bottom of the mammoth here. The ramp will quickly close again and start moving forward for a while this time, so just stay here in the comfort and safety of the mammoth as it takes you past various enemies. I skipped ahead a little bit and after a while you will see a nav point pop up and it will kind of go towards your left eventually and stop getting closer. At that point obviously you know the mammoth has stopped moving and the ramp will deploy once more and you should drive forward at this point. Stick to the right side so you avoid all the enemies on the left. Do not do what I did here. I accidentally got caught up on these rocks. You do not get bonus points for doing nose grinds on the stones over here so do not do that. I was able to get back in without taking much damage though and this is what you want to do. Just keep going this way and avoid all the enemies on the left side. We're going to wrap around. You can see there's a barrier up here. We could actually uh, just go right through it. So we're going to park ourselves 
in such a way that when we get out of the ghost, we actually kind of just warp right through it. So just park your left side of your ghost right up against the barrier, and when you get out, you will actually kind of be pushed right through the barrier, and you can continue on to the next part of the mission with no enemies over here to deal with. We're actually going to speed this part up because I'm just sprinting forward, and we're going to go to a specific spot of this map, and we're going to get a jump on the Lich before it spawns in. It actually already is spawned in, but we're going to get very close to it, so when it does actually activate, we could actually get on it right away and take it out immediately, so it makes it a lot easier, and we can get our shields back as well. So we're going to jetpack up to this area, and you can see on the left side and the right side, there's kind of a, uh, what looks like a small avalanche. There's like some loose rock on either side here, and there's also this weird looking plant here to my right, so we want to face this rock and then sprint and jump and then jetpack, so that will convert a lot of our sprint momentum into upward momentum. So we kind of sprint right at the face of the rock, jump up it, and then jetpack our way all the way to the top there. You can see the lich down below that I was looking at. If you don't see the lich here, that means you've gotten too close to it and it actually fell through the map, so you're going to have to revert to your last checkpoint because you can't proceed without destroying this lich. But across the way, you can see the anti-air turret. We're going to activate our target locator. The mammoth will shoot it once. I skipped ahead to the point where my target locator is recharged and I could fire a second time. You want to be ready because right when the mammoth shoots that second shot at that anti-air turret, you want to jump down towards the lich because it is going to take off and you want to use your jetpack to break your fall, land nice and easily because it will splatter you if you do not do so. So we're going to punch the lich first of all because that's going to get our shield back. Look out the front side of the lich and when you see it start firing at the mammoth there, you want to turn in towards the middle of the mammoth through this little tunnel here, through this doorway on top and then shoot down at that center structure. The splash damage will actually take out the core of the lich. It will destroy it and then we'll be able to jump down to the mammoth down here. Use your jetpack to break your fall and stop your momentum because you'll have a good amount from the lich kind of flying towards it. And then we're going to get inside here with a full shield and we're going to just stand in the back of the mammoth here because it's going to take a few minutes to get to the next part of the mission. So just safely stay in here and eventually you'll see uh, the current objective on top of your HUD will say current objective complete and then it'll give you a new one and the ammo crates will actually pop up showing you where the ammo is. So at that point you'll know that you could move out of the mammoth on the left side here. We're going to go up and put our foot down on this point of this rock. That way you'll know you have hit the load zone that you need to hit and then we're going to actually go back towards the way we came a little bit and run alongside this rock wall. We're actually going to come up from behind and skip this entire segment here. Because that's what we do on Reclaimer. We just skip all the encounters. We don't kill anybody except for that one lich, that unfortunate lich. So just go all the way back here until you reach the cliff side. You cannot go any further while hugging the right. And then we're going to just basically jetpack up to the top of this rock that we're looking at now. You can see there's a few ledges that we could actually jetpack to, regain our jetpack, let it recharge, and then you could continue on upwards. Once we're at the top of this rock, we're going to basically have to sprint and then jump and jetpack across a big gap over here on the left. So be ready to do that. We're going to sprint and then jump and jetpack all the way over here to this rock. And you don't want to stay on this rock too long because you're actually in a soft kill zone. So you have 10 seconds to get off, basically. We're going to run over here, though, with plenty of time to spare. Get on that ledge. And we're going to continue running and jumping, sprinting and jetpacking, all the classic Olympic events. We're almost at the end here. Just stick with it. We're going to jetpack up to this rock. And then we could actually peer through this rock. This rock does not have any physics to it. So we're going to look through here. And what you want to do is basically aim. We're going to run, jump, and sprint into here. And you want to aim basically at the center of the line that I'm shooting here. You can see I'm shooting on the left side now, then the right side, and now I'm shooting in the middle. The middle is where you want to aim on this piece of geometry, whatever this is. It's kind of a roof. Uh, it's kind of a floor. It's both. But we're going to back up. Then we're going to sprint and jump through the rock. And we want to jetpack right about here. Then we'll release our jetpack and allow it to recharge just a little bit. And then we'll activate it one more time. That will provide enough lift for us to get across to this rock here. And from here, all you have to do is jetpack straight up once your jetpack has recharged a little bit. And then we can just go back to this door to go to the next part of the mission. You can see I'm jumping down right now. This is just me showing you. You could take an alternate route. You don't have to jetpack straight up from this rock right here. You could just kind of walk in here and then jetpack up wherever you want, really. And I'm spending too much time uh, in this area, and you can see a beam rifle jackal has noticed me. I've never spent this much time in this area, and it turns out if you spend too much time here, you start getting noticed. But if you just immediately go to this door, you should be fine. And I'm going to skip ahead here because there's a lot of doors you go to and just kind of wait around while sentinels open them up. You put Cortana into one of those pedestals, and she does her Cortana magic, and then she actually gets kidnapped by the librarian temporarily, or the remnants of the librarian. So I'm skipping through those segments and the cutscene that follows. Right after the cutscene, you'll come to this segment where the chief is getting augmented and he's going to punch the floor and then stand up. He's good to go. He's immune to the composer now. We're going to wait for Cortana to appear at this pedestal on the left, grab her real quick. Then we're going to go backwards and then jump across to the side of the room over here on the left. 
and we're just going to run up the left side. There's no enemies over here, and they can't really shoot at you. They don't have a good line of sight to you. So you're pretty safe over here. Just stick to the left side until we get to the end of the room here where we got to cut back in towards the door. You could probably make it just by running past all of these enemies, but if you want to make it a little safer, you could try to take out all these crawlers with your battle rifle. But I said I'm not killing any enemies except for that lich, so I'm just going to run past them all. And once again, I'm skipping ahead. There's no more enemies for a while until you're suddenly teleported outside in a big battle, and you're going to just turn to the right and run over here, ignore the battle in front of you. There's a bunch of friendlies fighting a bunch of enemies, so just let them go at it, and we're going to run over here, and we're going to get on top of the rocks on the right and just run to the end of the mission. So once we pass this big boulder on the left here, and before we get under this big giant arch of rock we're going to turn towards this flat wall sprint at it and then jump and jetpack right before we hit it so it transfers that forward momentum upward like we did earlier and that will easily get us to the top of this thing and that's really the hardest part and it's not that hard so all you have to do at this point is just kind of use your jetpack to get across these rocks wait a little bit for it to recharge and then jetpack some more and uh, that's all we're pretty much doing. We're just going to keep sprinting, keep moving forward, keep jetpacking to the next area. You don't really want to stand around up here and look around too much because there are wraiths down below and they do take notice of you. And they are pretty good with their shots, even though they aren't quick. If you're standing still too long, they will actually nail you with those things. So keep it moving. We're almost done with the mission. I just decided to look down to the left and show you that, yes, indeed, those wraiths are in fact aware of me and they are lobbing wraith mortars in our direction at this very moment so keep moving you can see where we're going with this we are getting on top of these rocks to not only be a harder target and more safely get around those guys but also allow us to get past the shield barrier without having to deactivate the generator which is heavily guarded so we avoided all that nonsense make sure that when you fall down that you use your jetpack towards the end to break your fall so you don't just slam down and die from fall damage grab the target designator at the edge of the cliff target this bad boy and that is the end of this mission lots of skips in this mission to make an otherwise long mission pretty short if you know how to go about it and for the next one we're going to skip the majority of that as well but instead of a bunch of little skips it's one massive skip so tune in for that one that will be the mission shutdown thanks for watching guys if you found that video helpful be sure to click on the scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications you could also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen and you could find links in the description for other social media links of mine stay tuned for more halo guides and i'll see you in the next one